Most emoji motherfuckers, here we are, finally, one of these damn Q&As. I was originally doing this um, because I bought a new camera and I wanted to just kind of, you know, do an easy video this week to test out the new camera, figure, figure that shit out. But apparently, um, cameras generally don't come with SD cards <laughs> and <laughs> lenses, so I didn't know that. Whoops. Um, so, same old camera, but hey, whatever. I already tweeted the, the thing asking for questions, so I might as well just fucking do it. Anyway, without further ado, let's actually get into the questions. What would you do if YouTube fucks you up with non advertiser friendly strike? What's your plan B if it ruins way too much? Um, thankfully, uh, my channel hasn't really been hit by that at all. Uh, there's only one video that was hit by that so far. Hopefully that stays true. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I haven't been hit too, too badly by it, so I'm just hoping that they... They get their shit together before it actually becomes a problem with me and my channel. But if it happens, or if anything else with YouTube happens, because honestly, YouTube is just... I feel like YouTube is just making a, a really deliberate effort to impre increase the usage of Twitch. So, yeah, more than likely it'll be streaming. Um, and if streaming doesn't work, then I'll just do something else. I'm, I'm, I can find other work somewhere. It'll take a while, but I'm not... I'm not handicapped in any way, so like, I'll, I'll be able to move on with my life, it's whatever, you know, but if I want to keep entertaining, which I do, then streaming and Patreon are probably going to be the, uh, the, the two main things that'll keep me afloat in the future, if, if YouTube ever goes under, because they're fucking stupid. Can we expect another Bricky Trin collab? I'm not against it, I, like, <laughs> it was fun playing with him, so... You know, uh, if he ever wants to get his ass kicked again, then he's- I- I am always- I'm always open. Um, I don't know if I would do it this year, only because I'm working on- on season 3, so that needs to take a lot of my focus, and if- if I- if I- if we do, like, a similar thing to what we did, uh, last time with, a, another for honor duel or something, then, like, I'd- I'd wanna, you know, I'd wanna have fun with it, and right in the immediate future, not looking like I'm gonna have the time for that because that you know, that's gonna take a lot of um of energy a lot of of editing and stuff, but I mean shit next year it, Again, I'm, o I'm always down that it was a lot of fun working on that. So I'm Always down and if, if there's anything else that he wants to do or if I come up with an idea then I won't hesitate to you know contact him so basically uh, Don't hold your breath, but maybe <laughs> Best couple in series of your children. Okay, um, oh god, what is his name? The fucking, the student council president and the, uh, the delinquent. I can't remember their names off the top of my head, because there were a lot of characters in that show, in that show. But, that, those two, fucking love them, absolutely fucking love them, has nothing to do with the fact that the president is a bit of a sadist, and that the delinquent is a perfect recipient. It has, uh, listen, it has nothing to do, it has absolutely, I love that. But truth be told, every single couple in that show is fucking amazing. I love that show and I'm gonna miss it. How are your saxophone skills going? <laughs> How is Suyu not best girl in Boku no Hero Academia? Okay, listen, the thing that you fucking degenerates need to understand is that in Boku no Hero Academia, every girl is best girl. It's one of those rare shows where there's no actual wrong answer. It's in the same category as like something like Kaon, where you can pick any girl, and there is a valid reason for them being best girl. So even though, I, I yes, I see all the fu all you fucking degenerates spamming. Ah, what about what about Froppy? What about Froppy? Every single time I mention that Uraraka is best girl or that Jiro is second best girl. I see you. Okay, I get it. I get it. Suyu's popular and don't get me wrong, Suyu's great. But for me personally, Uraraka is better and so is Jiro and honestly so is Momo. <laughs> but listen, every girl is best girl, especially All Might. You mentioned that your holy anime trinity was broken in an earlier tweet. What is my top five right now? So, obviously the, the, the trinity is still there. Roroni Kenshin, Clan Ad, and Toradora. Those three are above and beyond everything else that is available, and they are all equal in my eyes. There is a fourth one that is now on par with those three shows, and that is Kaon. Kaon was a fucking masterpiece. I had not seen K-On until last year, that was the first time I had seen it, and I was blown away. It gave me the same 
types of like it gave me a, a very similar feeling to how I, I had when I first watched Clanad, minus the crippling depression. Uh, <laughs> so like <laughs> I fucking love Kaon, so that is what I would consider my top four. Behind that, it's honestly a toss-up. I'm I'm starting to think that Boku no Hero Academia might actually take that spot, but honestly, I really don't know right now because you know Boku no Hero Academia has a lot of time to fuck up, so I don't know. But I, th that is my top four: Rurouni Kenshin, Clanad, Toradora, and Kaon. That is not in order of of how much I like it. That is in order of when I watch them. So. Fucking love those shows. What is it that you want so bad but you can't get? Anime not included. Happiness. What are your thoughts on Absolver? You see, Absolver is a game that I've been I've been looking at for a while, and I was like, I, I this game looks pretty cool because you know, it, obviously you got you got the very clear um, comparison to For Honor because the the stance system is vaguely similar, um, but the combat deck seemed kind of interesting and. You know, it's it's melee combat, which I'm all about. But ultimately, the more I looked at the gameplay, the more I realized I'm probably gonna get tired of the game very quickly. And honestly, even though it is melee combat, I prefer melee combat with swords, which is why I still play for honor. So even though I'm sure Absolver, maybe maybe the gameplay is better, but I don't know. It just it seems like it's too bare bones to really keep me going you know at least with for honor i can just do i feel like playing a samurai cool i can go in play a samurai for 10 20 30 minutes boom not touch it for a week you know with absolver i don't think that'll happen and i think i would i would end up playing for like a week and then never again so i just i never i never played it i never i didn't bother uh getting it. i might get it down the line if if they uh improve the game enough and add enough to the game to make it interesting to me, but I don't know. Something about it, it just it just looks like it would get kind of old pretty quickly. Would you ever do endgame Final Fantasy XIV content with fans? Maybe. Honestly, I don't know. Right now, I don't even get, really get the time to play Final Fantasy XIV as much as I want to. I've been craving <laughs> to play Final Fantasy XIV for the past couple days, because I, I beat 2.5, I'm into Heavensward, and I'm really liking the story, especially the end of 2.5, that hour-long stretch of cutscenes. Holy fuck! Woohoohoo! God damn! I honestly wish I was streaming it, because I was having a fucking blast watching that shit. Um, so, like, honestly, I don't know. Endgame for me in Final Fantasy XIV is so far off, because I still have to go through all of Heaven's Ward, and, you know, I, I actually do enjoy the the class quests as well so i want to i want to level up at least all of the melee classes because i like all of them that's gonna take a while and then after i finish heaven's world which is gonna take like probably i don't know close to the rest of this year at the rate i'm going once i finish that i have to go through all of stormblood so like once i do all of that i i really don't know there might come a point where i'll just get tired of the game honestly if i'm not if i get to actual end game and i'm still not tired of the game, then I would be open to to playing with fans and uh, opening up a free company that I will actually run. But for right now, Final Fantasy XIV is my relaxation game that I play in my free time when I when I've done a good day's work and I'm I'm you know relatively okay on schedule. And I'm like okay, you know what? I just wanna I just wanna sit back and relax. So you know. And at the rate I'm going, like, I'm not... Between Season 3 and trying to upload regularly, and then eventually when I start streaming, it's going to be really difficult to find the time. I, then again, I, I guess I could play some uh, story content for, for streams. That, that That's something that I'd be open to. I'll probably do that at some point. But as for your question, I don't know. Not anytime soon, because I'm not going to finish it anytime soon. But I am, lo I am loving the game. It's fucking fantastic. When you start streaming, will you be doing more than League and For Honor? Shit. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to stream For Honor. I like the game. I still play it in my free time. But I can't play that game for more than like 20 or 30 minutes. <laughs> like, the game is not a very good game. It's fun in, in short bursts. But playing it for more than 30 minutes? Whew. I might be, I might be pushing it if I'm doing it solo. So, I don't know. I don't want to say I would never stream for honor, but don't 
don't hold your breath. League, I, 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 I do plan to stream occasionally. Um, but yes, I do, I do plan to do a bunch of different games. Um, I'm not 100% sure what games. I will most likely ask people, like, what, what other games, like, single-player games and shit that they'd like to see me try. Or if there's any multiplayer games that I haven't tried yet, um, I'll, I'll give those a shot. The, the games that I see that are most popular are things like PUBG and, you know, shooting games, shit like that. I have no interest in that. Don't expect that from me. That'll never happen, because I just, I don't like those kinds of games. Uh, only shooting game you'll ever see me play is Overwatch. And even then, after I've played it for 20 or 30 minutes, I, I've gotten my fill. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be streaming other stuff than, than League and For Honor. Would you consider doing a Danganronpa th uh, video on version 3 coming out at the end of the month? Maybe not a video, but honestly, I was, I was watching uh, a stream play Danganronpa the other day. Zell. Zell. I was watching Zell stream it. I think he was, he was playing uh, Danganronpa 2 at the time. And I had no idea that that game was so fucking intense. Oh my god. It was actually like I was sitting there watching an anime. I had no idea it was that good. So, honestly, I might stream me playing the Danganronpa series. I'm not gonna promise anything, but that that definitely... Seeing it be played definitely uh, raised my interest. I've, I've seen the anime, but, you know, I, I'm starting to think I might want to play it. What do you think about the continuation on Roroni Kenshin? I think it is completely unnecessary. I, ha I think it has absolutely no chance of matching the original, and I think I'm gonna love it regardless. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I've read I read the, the two, uh, you know, the Ashitaro chapters or whatever they were, and then the, the chapter one of the Hokkaido I'm liking it. I'm, it's Roroni Kenshin. I'm not just gonna ignore it, okay? And it's it's gonna bring a smile to my face, whether it's good or not. I don't fucking care. So I'm just happy to see uh, Kenshin back. I hope that they don't have to retcon a bunch of shit, but whatever. It's not gonna like dampen or lessen my um, my feelings towards the series overall. So, I'm just gonna enjoy the fan service. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Um, hopefully I'll be able to figure out the new camera, because <laughs> I kinda need it for season 3, and, you know, stuff moving forward. Once again, I do plan to be streaming very shortly. I... I don't want- I don't wanna- I don't wanna, like, give any promises or anything, but I hope to be streaming by early October. So, hopefully that'll- that- that shit'll get- I'll be able to get on that really soon. My top priority is, is obviously, like I said, getting season 3 um, started and on track. I've, I've actually started working on the first videos and... <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna be focusing on that for the rest of- the, for the rest of this week and probably next week as well. Anyway, I'm- I'm rambling. So, hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I will see you next time.